You might not know the word EMAW, but they do in Manhattan, Kansas. It means every man a wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child is a wildcat and loves Kansas State. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day. As we'll see the number 18 team in the country, the Cincinnati Bearcats, taking on the winners of three straight, the Kansas State Wildcats. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock. Kansas State about to kick off to get this game started. Fielded in the end zone, it's Turner. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. So the Cincinnati Bearcats will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And all eyes will be on this man because he is electrifying every time he touches the ball. I mean, so much fun to watch. Can hit home runs, can make big plays. Everything in this offense starts with that ball man. What I really like about him, too, is he's versatile, right? He can carry the rock. He can catch the football. He's good at blocking. This guy stays on the field for a reason. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They'll go to the counter play. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Now on the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. Back to throw. It's Soresby. And the ball is intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. Offense set on first down. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. They'll pull him down after a pickup of five down to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Snags it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Second and goal coming up. On the move. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Kansas State. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with the score from the four. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Got it in the middle, it's Royer. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. They'll try to pop the draw. 
And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Bearcats will punt this one away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop bleeding right now. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to get to it. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. First play of the drive comes from the 38. The give to the tailback. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to power their way ahead. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Bearcats will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm, got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the Wildcats pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for room, it's Edwards. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. And the Wildcats are flying down the field. Here's the handoff. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now on second down. They'll leave it with him. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Guys, it's Kansas State who carries the lead into the quarter break. Guys, let's have a look at the stats if we've played one period. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Kansas State in business in the red zone. Bully ball on third and short. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Second and goal for this offense. Going to the running game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. I mean, I'm getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. On to 
attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Notre Dame is currently up big at this moment in what's shaping up to be a lopsided affair for the Golden Domers. They're up by 17 over Army. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The Bearcats want to pick up the tempo. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you. And, see. and the quarterback is knocked down, back at the 13. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. And the Bearcats line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Running it back, it's Lockett. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking for space, it's Edwards. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Off play action. He'll off one deep down the left side. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I'll tell you what, defensive players don't always see where the ball is. They see the receiver and they get to chase him, but really good job seeing where the receiver is, going and making an interception, making a big play, getting the ball back to your offense. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. The league's not insurmountable, just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. Got his man quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Bearcats will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Looking for a productive play on first down. Running back searching for a hole. Nice move, creates some space. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The incompletion brings up a second down. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Just trucks through it. Oh, look out! He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. And you want to put a winning streak together like this team has? Run the football and create explosive plays. Nice job by the offense showing the speed. How about the blocking up front? Everybody blocking, getting a hat on a hat, creating the explosive run. 
On first and goal, let's see what Kansas State calls. Johnson wants to throw it. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Kansas State! Each and every week, I think this coaching staff does such a good job of scheming ways to get this guy the football in the passing game, and defenses can't cover him. With that last catch, this is now his 10th receiving touchdown on the season. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Grabbed behind the line, it's Royer. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. He's gonna pass, finds a tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Now the play fake. Trying to get behind the defense. Oh, he had it, and he dropped it. Almost one of those big plays he's known for. It'll be third down. They're going to throw it again. Caught in the backfield, it's Royer. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. And the Bearcats will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Snags it quickly on the left. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. They'll line up for a second down play. Johnson looking to throw. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Here they come trying to convert a third and short from the 28. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Kansas State will have to punt it away. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now to ship into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when we get to the half. On second down, wants to throw it. Getting some heat. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. Flying out to the left. Touchdown, Wildcats! Not content to get the fumble, they scored with the fumble. What a play by the defense there. Loose football, country fumble, pick it up with room, scoop, and score. 
No doubt. Country versus city. When it's a country fumble, nobody around. I got to pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll crank up this drive with a pass. Quick strike complete. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Escapes the sack. Coming after it. And the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. That third down pass was coming in hot before it fell to the ground. And the Bearcats decide to punt it away. He'll bring it back. It's Lockett. Pretty solid coverage there. They'll stop him at the 26. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Pulls it in. It's Cephas. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. He's back to throw on second down. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in Manhattan. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Wants to throw on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Jackson. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Short yardage play. They'll give it to the wide receiver going to the edge. Tackled after picking up the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. And he's all close to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. Johnson wants to throw it. 
That one never had a chance. Incomplete. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Now they'll try the right side. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Takes the handoff, it's Jackson. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. He cleared the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They'll go to the counter. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Pulled down after a pickup of three. Balls at the 13. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. From the gun on third down. Finds his big tight end. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put the group to leather. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Solid run, picks up six and gets it to the 28. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. Looking to throw at Soresby. He finds his man, and he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. They'll run this play from the pistol. That's a first down from the offense. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Here comes the offense on second down. Brings up second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give to the back. The Bearcats get it past the sticks. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. And that's good enough for a first down. He wants to throw. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Off the play thing. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's caught inside the 20. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and 10. On the ground, it's Kiner. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. They make the stop after a pickup of three. Ball's at the 18. Now facing a third and long. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. False start. False start. False start. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Got it. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cincinnati! Precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Getting set for the point after. On for the extra point. The extra point is good, but the lead is still big, down 31-7. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. North Texas has some work to do. There's no other way to put it. But the mantra of this program is hard hats, hard work. And if they can chip away here, they may be able to pull this out. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to East Carolina. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. To the ground with the back. Smashes through. A confident, tough, efficient run. Gets it up to the 44. Third down. Johnson looking to throw. Oh, he makes a catch. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And they finally run him out of bounds. A huge gain to wrap up the third quarter, and this defense will start the fourth on its heels. Guys, it's Kansas State who carries the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Give to the running back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. They'll run play action. Pressure coming. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They'll leave it with the lone back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And they decide to trot out the kicker. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And guys, this will stay a 24-point game. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Scanning the field, it's Soresby. It's caught. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. The offense set for a first down play. He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. Just gets rid of the football. Nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The aerial assault continues. Finds his man. It's Turner. They get him down after he makes the catch. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Trying play action. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Pocket starts to collapse. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. 
Well, I love the play call by the defense there on fourth down. They were expecting pass. They didn't decide to just lay back and play zone coverage. They were going to dial up the pressure. They bring the blitz, and they just overwhelm the offensive line and anyone else trying to protect that quarterback. He had no shot. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Line gets set, first down. On the move, it's Edwards. Still running at the 40. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. They're getting this guy lathered up. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll go to the ground. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Wildcats getting set on first and ten. Power football with the run. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Johnson wants to throw it. He makes the connection. Tackled immediately after the catch. K-State trying to cannonball their way to a score from the red zone. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, they'll run it, looking for the first. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Ready to fire from the pistol. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. It's complete. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. He's going to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Second and ten, he'll throw again. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll just throw it away, and it'll be fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. Not only made the pick, but he also made up some ground and took it back to the 38. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football to cover. They do, and they stamp this game. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Tackle is made at the 27. Let's give him 10 yards on the play, and it is enough for a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Dumps it to the back. And this sophomore quarterback just put it out there a little too far. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again, second and 10 from the 27. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A little less room to work with now as the ball's at the 28 and it's third and long. Johnson looking to throw. Firing to the right, complete. 
And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right half. He got it. And now the lead is extended a little far. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it out. It's Turner. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. With the catch, it's Smith. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Looking to go up top on first down. And they got him for the sack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. He's got it. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The Bearcats have moved it inside the 20. To the air. It's Soresby. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to get it through the air. Grab near the marker. It's Kiner. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Looking to throw. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. He's looking to throw. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball, Jesse. And this is definitely one of the best play callers, right, for an offensive coordinator. Getting ready to go into victory formation. So many good things happened today. It seemed like everything he was dialing today, David, ended up working out. No doubt. They've put a lot of highlights together, put a great offensive game together, complete football game. They get the win. On to next week. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back hills. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. Refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.